What's up, YouTube? Happy Sunday to everybody. Uh, I don't normally do this. I don't, I don't know if I've ever done this before. Uh, a response video? Yeah, I'm not really into responses videos. Uh, I do most of my talking on a daily basis on YouTube, so there's really no reason to respond. But in this case, uh, I gotta make an exception. Uh, shout out to your boy Uncle Lou Yesterday he posted a video About how Clemson is a spiraling program And uh, You know uh, Trying to get the tater man all worked up Here's the thing I don't disagree with him on some things that he says About Clemson's program in 2023 Slash 2024 uh, but some of the things, well, it, well, well, the, I guess maybe the, the, even the main premise of his video yesterday was just categorically false. And look, he, he, he went on for three or four or five minutes or whatever it was about how Dabo Sweeney's got his head in the sand and refuses to use the transfer portal. And you know all the same shit you you hear and read uh, on the interwebs about Clemson's program, and that's just not true. Um, burying your head in the sand and refusing to use the transfer portal would mean that you're not trying to use the transfer portal. Clemson has offered four transfer uh, transfer portal players this offseason in, in, in the past month. Now, I know that everybody likes to pretend that getting players out of the transfer portal is akin to going to Walmart and throwing a a, a pack of uh, toilet paper into your shopping cart, but it's not. I even had I, 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 somebody yesterday commented on, on one of my older videos and said, yeah, well, here we are. It's February, 2024. Clemson still has zero transfers. Dabo Sweeney doesn't know what he's doing. And I had to remind him, you don't take players from the portal. You offer players from the portal. If they don't decide to pick your school, well, I mean, I, I just don't understand um, the mentality. And, and, and Lou was right when he said that the way that Dabo approaches the portal is maybe nonsensical. Um, but at the same time, you see what's going on around the country and what's going on around the country in the world of college football is that you have coaches, head coaches and a power five conference I don't care what you think about the ACC. That's not important. It's still a power five job. Uh, uh, leaving for coordinator jobs in the NFL. And why is that? Well, it's because of the transfer portal. And maybe NIL to a certain degree. But it's because of the transfer portal. Because the days of recruiting players out of high school developing them yeah they might graduate and and, and and transfer somewhere else like a grad transfer but the days of just recruiting high school players are over now because of the transfer portal and nil you have to recruit your own players that you already recruited for the th three years before they got there just to stay there and so Clemson doesn't have that problem. Listen, Clemson's got problems. I, let, let, let me let, let, listen here. 
what people want me to do is come on the internet and pretend that everything is falling apart in Clemson, South Carolina. That they will never be a formidable national championship caliber team again under Dabo Sweeney because of his stance on modern college football. I'm here to tell you, first of all, I, I'm not a sunshine pumper. Uh, believe me, I'm not. But I'm not, I'm not going to pretend that Clemson's falling apart just to appease you. It ain't going to happen. If I see something that I don't like, from Dabo Sweeney or anybody else in Clemson, South Carolina, I'll be the first to tell you. But I think in the long run, and even the short run, we're, we're, we're getting into the long run now. Uh, we're going into what, what year four or five of, of NIL and transfer portal. Um, that Clemson's going to be just fine. It all starts with recruiting. And Clemson has been recruiting at the same clip that they have for the past 15 years. And what's happened in those 15 years? Other than the second winningest program outside of Alabama, two national championships, there still isn't a team other than Alabama in the playoff era that has more playoff appearances and playoff wins. I mean, I just keep going down the same statistics that everybody already knows. But it's going to be funny when people realize that Dabo Swinney was right. He's right about NIL and he's right about the transfer portal. Would I do some things differently if I were the head coach? Yeah, I would. But when Nick Saban got fired, well, not fired, uh, when he retired, say, fired himself. Uh, when Nick Saban retired a few weeks ago, and these idiots from Alabama were holding court out on that that dump of a campus out there chanting like they're you know like like, like uh, a, a protest anybody but Dabo anybody but da you hear me this guy's got a bullhorn anybody but Dabo do you know how lucky <laughs> Alabama would have been to get Dabo Sweeney instead they got uh, a recycled coach got blown out in the national championship and but listen and they should be excited uh, because he was their third choice maybe fourth if they would have got Dabo Sweeney that would have been the best hire that they've made since they hired Nick Saban period um, but I'm glad they're so stupid because Dabo Sweeney, I'm sure, I, I, I guarantee that there was people sending Dabo Sweeney video clips of these idiots on, on uh, in, in Tuscaloosa uh, talking about anybody but Dabo. So here's the other thing too. They, they, they kept saying, uh, I still hear this. And uh, I guarantee in the comment section of this video right now, there will be at least one or multiple people that go, Alabama never wanted Dabo to begin with, Pete. What are you talking about? Yeah, they did. He might not have been the first choice. First choice is probably Steve Sarkeesian. Uh, I don't even know who the second and third choices were. But, The reality is, they contacted Dabo Sweeney. He said so much. They called him. 
they said, hey, I mean, it's not like they call them and say, hey, the job is yours if you want it. Yeah, yeah, come to Tuscaloosa. I'm not saying that. They called him and asked him, hey, what is your interest, if any, in being the next head coach for the Crimson Tide? And what did Dabo say? After watching those videos of those idiots <laughs> uh, saying anybody but Dabo, Dabo said, I ain't got no interest in it. Talk to you later, bro. So then they went and got uh, uh, Dober. But to pretend like Dober is a better hire than Dabo Sweeney, why? Why? Because he's younger? Huh? Because, um, because he took uh, Washington to a national championship game? Comparing him to really anybody other than Kirby Smart right now is just fucking stupid. If you think that Dober or any of them are a better coach for Alabama than Dabo Swinney would be, I have to seriously question your football acumen. Have a great day.